Uh, today I'm going to show you something that I did not come up with. Uh, it's actually a little one-liner script using wget uh, by a um, person, uh, their screen name is Saron. And this is the script. The first thing we need is a voice recording in a FLAC format at 1600 hertz, or sorry, 16,000 hertz. Uh, he recommends using socks to convert it. That's when we do it. We're just going to record straight to that and save it to it using um, Audacity. So let me open up Audacity. Audacity. Blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, I can't record to this because I'm recording audio now for this video and I don't want to screw things up. But first things first, he said that the format has to be, as we said, in a 16,000 hertz uh, format. So if you come down to preferences and go to quality, you can set, by default, this is going to be up at either 44 or 48,000. You want to set it to 16,000 hertz for the default sample rate. And you'll click OK. And at that point, you can press record and start recording your message. I already have a message that I recorded. Let me uh, open it up. And I'll show you the WAV file, right? It's under my temp folder, which is where I'm at. And we got message.flack. And there it is. We can play it, maybe. Hello, and welcome to filmsbychris.com. And if you could hear that, if you couldn't hear that, it says, hello, and welcome to filmsbychris.com. So you can also see right here that this is a stereo uh, 16,000 hertz file. So you know that. Uh, by that, at that point, we can say export, choose flock or flac, and save it as a flac file. And I will, I don't need to save that because I already have it saved. Now we're just going to use wget to upload that file to a Google Speech API and grab uh, basically the text it converts it to. So we're going to say wget dash Q for quiet dash U uh, and this is basically uh, going to change the user agent uh, and we're just basically going to tell um, the website that our browser isn't wget but it's uh, Mozilla 5.0 so it's just so we don't get any messages saying sorry your browser is not supported we're just telling it yeah we're Mozilla basically we're Firefox then we'll say dash dash post dash file and then the name of the file we're going to post which in our case is message.flack um, then we're going to say dash dash header equals content dash type equals audio x dash flack and then a semicolon and it's a rate of 16,000 and that's just uh, telling the web server what type of file we this is that we're uploading then we're going to do dash O for output so the output comes to uh, the screen so it's dash O space dash space and now we need to put in the link that we're sending this file to so we're posting this file to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com speech dash api dash or sorry forward slash v1 because I guess this is their first version and then recognize oh make sure you spell everything right yeah I put a g in there and question mark because we're starting our variables here and we're going to tell it what language this recording is in so lang equals en dash us because i'm speaking english um and here we're saying client and i'm putting this here because this is what um he says uh, uh whatever that user was what was his name saron um he says to put Chrome. I haven't tried anything else. This kind of is weird because it almost seems like we're saying we're a Chrome browser, but this is after we said Mozilla. Like I said, I haven't played with this much. I just know the way he does it works. And that's it. That's the whole command. 
And if we hit enter, it'll take a few seconds because it's got to upload that file. There we go. And it returns a little output here. And right here it says, hello, and welcome to filmsbychris.com. Obviously, it spells Chris wrong because the regular way of spelling it is C-H-R-I-S, even though I spell my name K-R-I-S. But it took that uh, FLAC file and converted it to text for me. Uh, like I said, I haven't played with this too much. I just found it a little bit ago and thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I did try a longer, uh, basically saying a few sentences and uploading that file, and I got no output. So I'm going to play with it more, and if I come across why that's happening and a fix for it, I'll do that. But right now, if you just want to uh, translate a couple of words from a voice recording to a text format, uh, you can do it like so. And then, of course, you can use other tools like said, ah, grep or whatever to and cut to grab just the lines you want uh, so actually I haven't tried this but let's actually give it a try since we probably have time this appears to all be one line so let's just cut it at the uh, quotations here one two three four I already lost count okay five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think is what we want to cut at so we'll say cut dash Delimiter of quotation field 11. If we're wrong, we'll just go from there. Okay, that gave me... Okay, we have to go one more. 12. That makes sense. I counted 11, and we want what's after the 11th, 12th field. So there we go. We got the output of just the uh, what was inside that FLAC file. So I thank you for watching. Once again, uh, my website is filmsikechris.com. It's Chris with a K, K-R-I-S. Uh, there's links in the description. There's also a post, uh, a link. The first link in the description is the, to the post on this video where I'll have this uh, one-liner typed out. Once again, I got this from a uh, uh, online user, uh, Saron was his name. So just remember, it's a FLAC file. It's got to be 16,000 hertz. Uh, and then just run that wget script. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.